Now I will explain the assembly and the tutorial of the plasma RE for EMI. First look at the installation of the bracket. There is a bracket on either side, which is secured by a Phillips screw. And then there's a drawer here where you can store the probes and a few things. You can put it down there. There are three holes in the back of the instrument. The two sides are corresponding to the handle, and the middle is installed with a foot. Below is the power card. Now take a look up here and start assembling the handles on both sides. When installing, it is necessary to see whether the hole position inside is corresponding to the hole core of the probe. Then take a look at the top joint. You can see that there's a notch in the joint. We need to find this groove and find the top. Align with the anchor point of the hole and insert it. It's a foot switch that controls the power output. This is what it looks like when installed. Next look at the probe mounting of the multifunctional handle. This is the plasma roller head, which is held in place by a slot. You can see that the card on the handle corresponds to the probe. This rotation should do the trick. The handle has a variety of operating heads. Such as the wide ozone pen probe, a flash spot gold probe and so on some plasma probes. They can be manipulated by substitution. The roller operating head is very safe and the energy is relatively mild. It has a unique design and can be operated on a larger area. The housing keeps the probe at a fixed distance from the skin, can reduce the adverse reactions of the operation, The handle here is the RF GIMS handle. It can output radio frequencies separately, and it can also output microelectricity separately. You can also output RF GIMS at the same time. It is used for muscle contraction, helps muscle recovery, facial counter enhancement and skin firmness. Now take a look at the other operating ends of this handle. These two are new plasma pros. This specializes in spot animal removal. This is a special operation to remove the texture, that is, some fine lines on the face. There are two methods of operation. One is fixed point operation and the other is continuous operation. Just keep moving along the grain. The two probes must be fitted with an adapter during installation. Now show you how to install it. Take off this multifunctional handle probe and replace it with an adapter. Install the plasma probe that needs to be operated. That should do it.
Now turn it on and have a look. The phone rings twice, and when the second ring is over, tap the screen to go in. Then look at the interface operations. This is the RF GMS controller operation interface. Select RF energy separately or EMS energy output separately. Just click. Select the energy according to the operation required. If you want to operate RF and microelectric at the same time, click on the bottom and adjust the energy intensity. Here choose the working mode. There are four modes A, B, C, D. The adjusted parameters can be saved below. Click MR, then click Save. The parameters will be saved in it. Start key. Blinking ball indicates that the controller is enabled. One more click to stop. Take a look at the other handles. There are three plasma probes in here with the multifunction handle. Select operating position, set clinical time. Regulating energy. Storage mode. The main thing is to look at here. There are two modes. Automatic mode and manual mode. Manual mode is operated with the foot pedal. Automatic mode is not required. Directly click the start handle to start the working state. Click again to stop. The rest of the interface is the same. Select the corresponding interface to enter according to the installed probe. Clinical procedures are shown next. Operate the handle of this RF GMS first. The energy is recommended to start from low to high. Because some customers are more sensitive to small currents. If you want to operate the RF low, select the first adjustable energy value. The microcurrent alone chooses the second. Choose the third if you want RF GMS output at the same time. Now you're showing simultaneous output. Adjust a gear first, fill it and increase the power if the customer can handle it. Now we are working on the face, and the clinical time is about 15 to 20 minutes use. You can refer to the manual operation. More these are not required. If you adjust the customer's appropriate parameters can be stored. Next time, if the same customer can choose to adjust the parameter operation, now click Save. Now use this handle. Try to apply some soothing cream or other product in advance. On the one hand, it is to increase smoothness. In addition, it can remove wrinkles and replenish water, and it can be operated with. It can also promote absorption and make the effect more obvious. You can spread it evenly with the handle first. The current face has been cleaned. The client first cleans his face with facial cleanser during the clinical session. Then wipe it clean and work with the handle and the product. Here set all the parameters and click start. Just start it. Blinking blue indicates working status. Then the handle touches the face with some lifting and circular maneuvers. It is normal for the client to experience some warmth and numbness. 
I'm not going to do this right now. After the operation, the probe should be cleaned with paper towels. Rub it down with medical alcohol if you have it. Let's show you how the roller works. First, attach this roller to this handle. I've said before how to install it. He will not demonstrate. If the customer chooses the automatic mode, there is no need to cooperate with foot operation. If you choose manual mode, you need to cooperate with the foot switch to have energy output. Select the area to operate. We are going to choose the arm now, starting from low to high energy. Personally, I suggest a third gear or so, so that the feeling will be obvious. Just click start here. Because the body area is large, the clinical time is 20 to 30 minutes use. Arm operation needs to be combined with some water soluble products, such as essential oils. Because you can't feel the energy output without it. Then use the handle to roll. There is a tingling sensation when operating. This is normal. It also needs to be cleaned after the operation. Stop the machine and clean it. Unscrew the probe and then operate the probe to remove wrinkles. Install the adapter first, and then install the probe to remove wrinkles. You need to exit the screen to select the probe. Select the area you want to operate, because this probe works on the face. So just pick one or the other. Now let's move on to the forehead. Get rid of wrinkles. Adjust the energy according to the area. Select automatic mode because it's easier when you pull it from low to high. And then you can just use the default. When you start the operation, for example, if the forehead is marked in this area, point the probe at this texture. This will do the pulling operation. If you want to operate in a fixed position, you're going to stay in this position. After the operation, move again, cover the next place. This is the fixed point operation. You can increase the energy intensity if you want it to be obvious.
The next probe is used to remove spots and spot moles. It is also used with the camera head. The needle should be wiped and sterilized with medical alcohol before operation. Then you can start using it. Interface using this energy setting. It's better to choose manual mode. Let's just do a quick demo. I didn't click it completely. Start with this point, about 2 millimeters from your skin, and then put your foot down. Once you're done, tap the spot with medical alcohol on the cotton swab. The needle should also be sterilized with alcohol afterwards. If the mole or spot is relatively large, this energy should be increased a little before it can be removed. It's gonna hurt a little bit. Then move on to the next gold probe. It also needs to be used with the converter head when operating. First replace the converter head, and then select the probe to operate. Now I'm going for a big crew cut. This flat probe also requires applicator operation. First spread the product evenly, then press on the skin, select the interface to operate. This interface is suitable for all gold pros. Again in this mode, click Start. After starting, it can be operated with the manipulation of lifting up. The probe must be close to the skin, do not appear tilted state. If you tilt, you feel the electric flow, which is normal. Just take it off. Either take it away, or stop and take it away. Because it stops when it's over. Just clean up the probe when you're done. Then replace the other probe. This probe has the effect of promoting product absorption. It's the same interface. Clinical duration should be 15 minutes use. Start directly and operate with gentle tapping. Just clean it up after you're done. It's the same interface. This manipulates the area around the pouch. Due to the relatively small operating area, the time is controlled in about 10 use.
operate with a probe that raises the profile. I'm going to install it, and I'm going to use the same interface. This needle and band needle are mostly used to remove natural spots. Use the same interface. Sterilize the needle with medical alcohol. This time is not limited, just click to start. Select manual mode. Now show it on your hand. Align and then put your foot down. It's about 2 millimeters away from the skin. If the energy is higher, it's a little higher. Wipe it down with alcohol after you finish. This is the ozone pan, which has a bactericidal and anti-inflammatory effect, and is also mounted on the handle. And then we use this interface. Make sure your face is dry before using this probe. Do not apply any products. If the customer uses this probe, it is recommended to use it at the beginning. In the beginning, it is recommended to use this probe to operate, which can kill bacteria and reduce inflammation. Then we'll use other probes. This energy can be turned up a little bit. We just choose to use this automatic mode. This probe operates around the pouch. If you want to manipulate the cheeks, you can use a larger probe. This operation has a slight tingling sensation on contact. After the operation, the above suction garbage should be wiped clean. It's best to rub lightly with medical alcohol, not too hard. If you remove this coating from the outside, the probe will be useless. This probe does not need to be fitted with the converter head when operating, and can be directly mounted on it. This is also a fixed point operation. If the customer wants to move, that's fine. Interface using this. If the customer chooses automatic mode operation, it is fixed point operation. Then we'll go in player mode. Choose automatic mode if you want to move.
If you want to operate the player mode in a fixed position, operate with the full switch. Get ready, keep your foot on the treatment area. This is called a fixed point operation. All the probes will be demonstrated.